Welcome back. If you watched the last video I posted, a little short video of kind of like a rant of what I had to deal with when I got here yesterday. Got this location yesterday. Once I got here, went to go pull my roof up. The strut, one of the struts that raised the roof inside the motor is just a little plastic gear. I guess that thing stripped out. So I couldn't raise the roof. Had to sleep on the couch last night because the dining room table folds down to a, a little bed and it was it was a miserable night. Uncomfortable. <laughs> it, was, it was something else. Plus that cushion you put down, if you get in that gap a little bit, it will shove that cushion out. So today I <laughs> I took rope and <laughs> I tied the cushion to the to the tabletop <laughs> so that thing don't slide out. But it's not a very big bed. You got Harvey on there at my feet taking a bunch of room it's it's not fun so hopefully I can get this thing fixed soon because today's Sunday I was gonna leave today go somewhere to get service and try to find somewhere to get this thing fixed but since it's Sunday nobody's gonna be open I was I didn't want to waste the gas going somewhere else and since I got this location to shoot um, I was like I might, I might as well. I'll just stay another night. Because earlier today, where we're headed that direction, there's a nice tall hill, nice rocky peak up top, and you get a nice, nice view long distance down the valley following this river down and the backside. And in that last video, I kind of showed back behind me, there's some hills. Um, you got the reds and browns, and you got one hill that has a real dark black black line going through it so from up there when we we're there earlier today picked out two or three compositions i want to try to get it's been overcast all day but this evening these clouds are starting to roll in so that's kind of nice because um the sun sun's going to set down over there and i don't predict a whole a whole lot of real nice light hitting everything so it's going to be kind of doom and gloomy today at least those these nice dark clouds will give it some atmosphere and some feeling to the to the photos but also back to the camper real quick all my food is in a plastic bin in the back and with that roof down there's only like an eighth of an inch gap so i can't get to any of my pots and pans or food <laughs> So luckily yesterday I picked up a few items, so I got some stuff to eat. You know, only thing I got to cook in is a little metal metal cup that I make my coffee and stuff in, and can't use my stove because I can't lift the top. So I got one little jet burner with a little butane tank on it. <laughs> so after our hike back uh, today, earlier today, I made some uh, potatoes potato soup. Campbell's don't buy it <laughs> loaded potato sets. <laughs> it was bad. I get I give it to Harvey. He ate it <laughs> Well, yeah, this is uh, There's always something always something on the road It just seems something every month. I've only been out here three months and I've had something each month happen <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be out here or not, but I'm pushing through we'll get it taken care of but it's only I don't have a watch, but I think it's around just after four. Sun sunset is around six thirty seven. So I wanna it's only gonna take like a half hour, roughly forty minutes to get up there. It's only about a half mile. And I just wanna be able to get up there and kind of frame stuff up. Uh since I got my tripod to have my camera up there, just hand holding it yet earlier today. Just uh get some ideas for compositions so we'll get up there a few hours early um, get everything set up kind of relax bring home jacket and Harvey's jacket and all that because it's supposed to get thing is supposed to get pretty chilly late come later this evening tonight so I just want to be prepared he gets pretty cold um, so with that we're gonna go ahead and Head out, and I'll see you when I get up there.
pot. And on the way up here, as soon as we left, it started raining a little bit. I was like, God, no. But if we kept going, that sun probably can't see it. I don't know why this thing keeps not focusing when I want it to. But either way, the sun's actually peeking out in those clouds. I'm getting a lot more gaps in them. So, kind of hoping the clouds stay like that, but also hopefully that sun's able to peek through some of those gaps and light this mountain that's out here. And I'll see everything behind me there. But I'm hoping it's looking nice, looking a lot better than it did yesterday or earlier today. So, I'm huffing and puffing. I'm gonna keep going. minutes if it seems like i'm yelling it feels like that wind's really being picked up i don't know so if i'm yelling i'm sorry but some of the compositions i picked out earlier when i was up here i don't know if they'll work or not it's just real flat i mean it's all kind of real flat but i like the i like the sky the sun's still for that direction i don't know if it's gonna shine much light through these clouds but what i got framed up right now is i got this river we have this river down here and it's going to start in the bottom right hand of the frame and then weave its way back through the middle of the frame off up into the opposite corner almost and then one of the main main subjects is going to be this mountain right here and then we got the the rolling hills and things at the bottom so it kind of helps work this out, even without the sun. I would really wish I would just stop doing that, but we'll just go with non-focus. But with these rolling hills, the real light color, then you got darker areas. It's just a lot of contrast to match up with contra different dark contrast of the sky. So I think it'll work out. A lot of times what I'll do is go into Photoshop and I'll just hit the highlight areas the high points and then the the deeper areas where the shadows and all that add some shadow darken the shadows brighten the highlights and just bring some more contrast and definition to the photo um, since we ain't really got that definitive light golden light like kind of highlighting the highlights and the high high places of the mountains so i think it's still it's still going to come out i'm still going to like it I, I really like these type of skies and clouds also threw the polarizer on the knockout whatever highlights I can in this river it kind of darkened the river up in the bottom part but as you get through it kept some of those highlights in the middle but it's not too distracting so while the sky is like this I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots <laughs> So I just went ahead and took a couple shots of one with the house in it. There's this house. It's actually like a house and barn and garage and things. But then you got the, the field it's next to and all these mountains on the right. I was worried about these being too heavy on the right. But I guess I think it works. I mean, this right here kind of offsets it. Gives it depth. You got the lines here and then it's kind of cross. And then you got the nice mountains in the background. It looks better on the back of the screen than the phone looking at the screen. 
but I think it's gonna come out pretty well and then you got the you got the river that runs through the scene a little bit and winds through and goes back there so I like that took another one over here where's the other one I took took one without the house that one's a proper exposure one by the camera but this one without the house I just cut the house in and brought this hill that was on the right of the other one more more towards the center more in the frame so it's not so heavy right side heavy but I'm liking the way it come out I always take one that's proper exposure that the camera gives. But I also like to take one that's like a third of the stop or even down to one stop underexposed. Because a lot of times I just like the way those comes out better. Um, especially with in the background stuff here. You got a lot of, it's kind of really hazy out there. So I don't know. It seems like when I take ones that are proper exposure, that haze is just it's just real bright I don't know something I like to do that sun that sun over there keeps trying to do something but I think it's gonna be down below those mountains too much to do anything but I'm liking how these ones come out um, actually might too might throw my 24 to 70 on and kind of just get these hills I don't know I just like it because it almost looks like the the edges are glowing um, and then you got the hill in the background. So I think I'll throw my 24 to 70 back on, turn around, and almost, I guess, be more of a detailed abstract shot type thing. I'm just like, I just kind of like the way it looks. You got the real light areas and dark areas, and then these big rocky sections in the middle of the hills. Then also in the back, you got this mountain or mesa. I don't know what you call them out here in Eastern Oregon. Anybody from Oregon, tell me what you call these. I just call them big hills, but that's kind of getting lit up somewhat. So, done talking, turn around 24-70 and grab some shots of that. So, we'll be back. shots taken of these I wasn't able to wasn't really able to zoom in tight because in order to do that then these pieces here were like real like right on the edge of the frame so if I didn't want to get in that sky in so I got pretty much all these framed up and then here this mountain or hill in the background I got that and I got just a little bit of sky above it because I was trying to get the least amount of sky because in the frame I know in this camera it seems like there's real defined clouds there which there is but it wasn't in in my shot so I was trying to keep as much sky as I could out of it just because it was so bright um, I want focus on these but it's gonna come out I, I'm really gonna like those ones um, what else now I mean, there's plenty. I just, I really wish that there was nice sun going light. Now it's, now it's starting to rain. It's starting to want to rain off in the distance there. There was rain earlier on the way up here. Now it's starting to trickle down. But I didn't bring my rain jacket, but I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to stay up here. I do what I want. 
But I think that most of the shots, I'm probably going to, I'll go put 70 to 300 back on and I'll shoot those hills that I keep talking about, all the red hills and things in the, in the distance. Um, I've got to do that. It's just compared to, it seems like today, the, even those overcasts, there's more light on them. But I'll take some tight shots of them, see what, see how they turn out. I'll throw them up uh, right after this. a pretty easy straightforward shot actually I think I like the way it turned out just zoomed in I shot it at I was around 140 millimeter roughly and then it was one tenth of a second f11 ISO 100 real simple tight end shot I think it's actually gonna come out nice I mean a lot of colors and contrast and when I was, <laughs> you'll see in the photo, I'll zoom in with the camera after this. I'll put it above this. Um, but there's a small hill in the bottom left. <laughs> it almost looks like a giant pimple. <laughs> it's like a red hill and it's got like a white top, like white point on it. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just me. I mean, kind of, these last couple of days, I've just kind of been a little bit loopy. <laughs> dealing with everything I'm just trying to make light of everything There's nothing I can do I'm out here I was up here earlier I was half tempted but I didn't want to stay up here too long right over here because I can walk walk over here and then down and around and it looks real flat I mean you're probably gonna look in another quarter mile but oh uh, I just don't want to walk over there, especially if it turns out there there to be nothing. What I see way off in the distance here, you can't see it, but right there, there's some hills or mountains off in the distance. They got snow, and actually looks at that light is shining down on it. So I might I might head that way. I'll stay here for a minute, and then if I don't see anything, then I might shoot over there and see what we can get. I think I. Still came out with some nice photos in this spot. So, yeah, I think we'll just, we'll just pack up, head over there. Worst case scenario, we don't find anything because I think we already got some decent shots here. So, let's head that way. Well, that, that hike didn't go too far. <clears throat> Here's a hill we just climb down off of what 150 feet away because often the distance on the hill there's a fence line that runs all the way down to where we were trying to go and I'm pretty sure on the way here yesterday on the road there was a sign saying no trespassing left and right side of the road private property next 12 miles and we've this campsite is only like five miles past that sign so I'm pretty sure I'm on private property to begin with but these are asked for forgiveness and permission sometimes, so haven't nobody said anything yet. Middle of nowhere. But time we made it over there too, I think that sun would just done dropped and there wouldn't be anything anywhere. But if it wasn't just totally cloudy like this and that sun was able to get through, I would love to be here because that valley would just light up because that sun's in a perfect position, light up that. Mount, small mountain right there and off in the distance I think it looks really nice but it's not that rain keeps coming on and off off in the distance there that rain's coming this way and I think here tomorrow next day it's supposed to be more rain I gotta leave tomorrow get find somewhere to get this camper fixed anyway but definitely came out some pretty sure we definitely came out with some nice photos today kind of moody and dark so i'm excited to get those get those on see what those come out like 
with all that being said thanks for watching again i know a lot of my videos are just seem like they're all over the place i get sidetracked in because most of the time they are i wasn't even really planning on going out today but and finally hit 100 subscribers 105 last time i checked so i don't know if that means anything a thousand is where it starts to matter i guess but for those who subscribe thank you if you like this video and this type of content if you haven't already if you want please subscribe um, leave a comment like the video and until then thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Thank you.